The best part of dividend investing is when the stocks you own raise their dividend payment. This increases your income at no additional cost to you. These dividend increases can often come far more frequently and at higher percentages than that of a typical raise at your job. With continued increases year after year, your dividend income will start to tower over its former self. This is without you even investing new capital. That is the power of dividend growth. You can grow a stream of passive income that you can make new investments with either in the same same company or another. That reinvestment adds to the long-term compounding effect. Eventually, this dividend income could be a reliable source of cash flow you choose to live off of. It's for this reason that I primarily follow a dividend growth investing strategy. There are countless companies with a reliable track record of increasing their dividend on an annual basis. The dividend aristocrats have been doing it for over 25 years. The dividend kings have been increasing for over 50 years. Also, there are many up-and-coming companies committed to the trend often with higher rates of growth. In today's video, I'm going to share 11 companies who just increased their dividends over the past month. Each of these has a track record of dividend growth and may deserve a place in your investment portfolio. Let's roll the intro. My name is Zach, this is Dividend Data, and you should leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Throughout, I'll be using my stock research tool, which is available at DividendData.com. Here you can do deep financial analysis on over 7,500 stocks, helping you find better investments. This includes metrics to determine dividend safety, growth rates, and measure the long-term growth trends of the overall business. On top of this, you get breaking dividend news. If you choose to track your own portfolio, then you can get it filtered by just the stocks you own. Link in the description and pinned comment. Stock number one is Archer Daniels Midland, ticker symbol ADM. This stock just increased their quarterly dividend payment to 50 cents per share. That is an 11.11% dividend increase. The two prior increases were 12.5% and 8% respectively. The payout ratio implies that the dividend is sustainable based on current free cash flow and net income. What's interesting about ADM stock is that they're currently going through a crisis. There's an ongoing investigation into their accounting practices. That news sent the stock price down 25% in a day. With that decline, ADM stock is now $52 with a 3.84% dividend yield. That dip in price could be a buying opportunity if this accounting issue ends up being minor. They now have an interim CFO in place. However, I have not done enough research into this specific situation to really give you an intelligent outlook. Stock number two is Cincinnati Financial, ticker symbol CINF. The stock just increased its quarterly dividend to 81 cents per share. That is an 8 percent increase. The two prior increases were 8.7 percent and 9.52 percent. The five-year compound annual growth rate of the dividend is 7.66 percent. Based on free cash flow, the dividend is sustainable with a 20 percent payout ratio. Stock number three is Air Products and Chemicals, ticker symbol APD. The stock just increased its quarterly dividend to $1.77 per share. That is a 1.14 percent increase, which drags behind its historical average. APD has a five year dividend CAGR of 8.82%. The 10-year dividend CAGR is 9.53%. APD is a dividend aristocrat, but I have long been concerned about their payment's sustainability. The net income-based payout ratio is healthy at 65%. However, the payout ratio based on free cash flow has been deeply unsustainable every year since 2018. In 2023, this hit a new low when APD posted negative $1.42 billion in free cash flow. I suspect this is why the latest dividend increase was so slow. While other years had positive free cash flow, it was still far less than dividends paid. So how did they afford this? Well, APD has funded this with debt. Since 2018, total debt grew from $3.8 billion to $10.9 billion. They aren't swimming in cash either. That is now $9 billion net debt. To be fair, their operating cash flow has grown significantly and exceeds their dividend payment. However, their increase in capital expenditures outpaced that growth. Personally, I don't think 
this is sustainable. At current stock prices, the dividend yield is 2.7%. Stock number four is Yum Brands, ticker symbol YUM. This is the restaurant company known for KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. They just increased their quarterly dividend payment to 67 cents per share. That is a 10.74% increase. The prior two raises were 6.14% and 14%. This payment is sustainable. The free cash flow payout ratio is 56%, and the net income-based payout ratio is 48%. At current stock prices, the Yum dividend yield is 2.08%. Stock number five is United Rentals, ticker symbol URI. This stock's performance has crushed since 2020. It's up 400% over the past five years. The earnings per share has grown rapidly over the past decade. Historically, United Rentals has not been a dividend payer, but they added a modest dividend in 2023. They just increased that quarterly dividend for the first time to $1.63 per share. That is a 10.14% increase one year after initiating the dividend. At current prices, URI stock has a 1.03% dividend yield. This may be worth adding to your watch list. That said, the stock is at all-time highs, so it may not be the best value to add right now. Stock number six is Fast and Old Company, ticker symbol F-A-S-T, or FAST. This stock has seen strong price appreciation and earnings growth. They just had two back-to-back -back dividend increases. Fast just declared a 39-cent quarterly dividend, which is a 2.6% raise. The increase in the prior quarter was 8.57%. Last year, they had a 12.9% increase. The dividend is sustainable based on net income payout ratio, but the past few years, they've played it close with free cash flow. Also, the historical dividend frequency and pattern of increases is quite odd. At current prices, the dividend yield is 2.28%. Stock number seven is BlackRock, ticker symbol BLK. This is the massive asset management company, which has seen reliable growth over the past decade. That has fueled strong dividend growth. However, this has slowed in recent years. BlackRock just declared a $5.10 quarterly dividend. That is a 2% increase. The prior increase was only 2.46% as well. That is far from the historical growth rates. The 10-year dividend CAGR is 10.2%. However, this slowdown is seen in most comparable asset managers since interest rates increased in 2022. The BlackRock dividend is sustainable. The free cash flow payout ratio is healthy at around 67%. The net income payout ratio is even better at 57%. At current stock prices, the BlackRock dividend is 2.59%. Stock number eight is Enterprise Product Partners, ticker symbol EPD. This MLP is one of the leading pipeline companies in North America. Over the past few years, EPD has been doing two dividend increases a year. They just declared a new quarterly dividend at $0.515 per share. That is a 3% increase. The prior raise was 2.04%. The three-year dividend CAGR is 4.6%. The dividend is currently sustainable based on both net income and free cash flow payout ratio. The stock's status as a partnership means they pay the overwhelming majority of their cash flows out as dividends. It also has a different tax status so that it's not a qualified dividend. At the current stock price, EPD has a 7.52% dividend yield. Stock number nine is TFI International, ticker symbol TFII. This transportation and logistics company has seen a massive surge in stock price since 2020. This is mostly backed up by sudden growth of revenue, earnings, and free cash flow. In 2020, they also introduced a quarterly dividend payment, which they've started increasing on an annual basis. TFII stock just declared a 40 cent quarterly dividend. That is a 14.3% increase. The prior raise was 29.63%. The three-year dividend CAGR is 20.96%. At the current stock price, the dividend yield is 1.19%. Stock number 10 is Consolidated Edison, ticker symbol ED. The New York utility company is low growth, but a reliable dividend payer. ED just declared an 83 cent quarterly dividend. That is a 2.47% raise. The 10-year dividend CAGR is only 2.8%. At current prices, ED stock has a 3.69% dividend yield. Stock number 11 is Kimberly Clark Corporation, ticker symbol KMB. This is a consumer products company which owns many top brands like Kleenex, Huggies, and Scott. KMB stock just declared a $1.22 quarterly dividend. This is a 3.39% raise. The prior increases were lower at 1.72% and 1.75%. This is below the historical average as Kimberly Clark has been going through a rough period following the massive inflation. Their pricing power did not keep up with the rise in price relative to other consumer brand companies. This has caused a dip in their earnings. That said, the Kimberly Clark dividend is still 
sustainable at around an 80% payout ratio. At the current stock price, KMB has a 4.03% dividend yield. So those are 11 notable companies that increased their dividend over the past month. Make sure you leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if this video provided value. Sign up for DividendData.com if you want to use the stock research tool I've been showing throughout. If the software helps you identify just one slightly better investment, then it pays for itself. Thanks for watching.